What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how I calculate my lot sizes for indices which I mainly trade US 30 and NASDAQ and with this technique I'm able to get into positions very quickly with the correct lot sizes because I'm able to calculate them in my head very quickly. So I'm going to hop in quickly and show you exactly how I'm able to calculate lot sizes for NASDAQ and US 30. So the first thing you need to know when you are calculating lot sizes for US 30 and NASDAQ is that some brokers have different contract sizes. Now some brokers have a one contract size and other brokers have a 10 contract size. So I'm going to show you exactly how to find out what contract size your broker has and then how to use that to calculate your lot sizes. Okay, so to find out the contract size of your indice that you're trading on your broker, we're going to head over to MT4. We then go on to whatever we're trading. So US 30 is the indice that I'm looking at. Now I'm using 8 cap. Um, you can check this on any broker. It works the same way. Obviously, if your your symbol is not showing up here, if you know how to use uh, how to use MT4 or MT5, you basically go to symbols and then you click on um, it should be under indices or CFDs. You'll find it here. And then you are able to go in and have a look at the symbol right here. You can then right click on the symbol and click specification. Now it's going to give you the exact specification on what you are trading. Now here under contract size, you can see that it is a 10 contract size. So that means that the contracts that you are trading are multiplied by 10. Now some brokers have a one contract size. That means that you are going to need to use a higher lot size in order to trade with the same risk, okay? So I will show you how to calculate both of these scenarios. So it is very simple to work out your lot sizes, all right? So all you need to do, so say we're on US 30, like we said, it has a 10 contract size that we just had a look at, okay? And let's say we have a 100K account. So a 100K account, 1% 1 of 100K is $1,000, and we want to risk 1%, okay? So once we've worked out um, what percentage, so if we want to risk even 0.5%, that is $500, okay? So $500, and we've got a 550 here, but it's 500 pips, okay? We've got a 500 pip stop loss, okay? So all we're gonna do is multi divide $500 by 500 pips, and that will give us one lot. Now, that is what we will be using. So a one lot, on 50, uh, 500 pips will risk $500, which is half a percent. So if, again, let's change this. If we want to risk 1%, we're going to be risking $1,000, okay? $1,000. We've got a 500 pip stop loss. That is fine. And now we risk, um, we are again risking $1,000 and we divide that by the 500 pip stop loss. So now we need to use two lots, okay, on a 50 pip stop loss in order to get to $1,000. Now, once you've done this enough, you can do this on a piece of paper or on a calculator, but once you've done this a bunch of times, okay, you will eventually be able to do it in your head, and this is what I do in my head every time I take a trade. Now, this works exactly the same way on a... Um, on NASDAQ, okay, exactly the same way, all right? So I won't show you on NASDAQ because it's exactly the same. The pip counts are exactly the same. So let me show you a slightly less easy example. So for example, let's say we are risking, okay, 70 points, which is 700 pips. So we've got a 700 pip stop loss, all right? So 700 pip stop loss. So all we're gonna do is we're going to take our risk, which is $1,000 if we're wanting to risk, okay? 
and then we are going to divide that by our stop loss okay which is 700 okay and then all we're going to do is you can grab a calculator if you want i usually do this in my head so in my head all i'm doing is saying if i use one lot okay it's going to equal 700 dollars so how do i get to a thousand dollars i'm going to risk one and a half lots which is going to be about a thousand and fifty dollars which is near enough but if you want to be exactly perfect on it all you're going to do is grab your calculator and you quickly grab um do the calculation you thousand dollars divided by 700 equals 1.42 so you can use a 1.42 lot size i would simply use 1.5 and calculate that in my head now guys it's simple to do this okay you simply it so if it's a 200k account all you're going to do is do everything multiplied by two so we're risking two thousand dollars okay 700 pip stop loss we are now two thousand dollars divided by 700 pips okay which will give you okay instead of 1.5 we will use three okay that's it's as simple as that and if you want again if you want to be more precise you can do it on a calculator so on a calculator it's just simply going to be 1.4 times by two but if we do the whole thing on a calculator it's 2000 divided by 700 and 2.8 which is 1.4 times by two so we would use a 2.8 lot size now what if we are on a one contract size okay the one contract size simply means that your lot sizes mean 10 times less on a one contract size broker now i believe my forex funds uses a one contract size so simply all this means guys you do this exact same calculation you just add a zero to your lot size that's all it means so if you're on a one contract size broker and again i showed you how to check what contract size your us 30 or indice or whatever it is um what how to check the contract size if you've got a one contract size all you do is add a zero onto the lot size so you do the same calculation i just showed you and add a zero so if you're risking three lots on a 10 contract size on a one contract size you will be risking 30 lots so I hope this helps you guys. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me about it, so I decided to make a video on it. So if this helps you guys, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate all your support and I would really appreciate if you subscribe and like and then let me know what videos you want me to create in the future. So thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video.